All right, so uh, at this point we have our game, but if you look, it's not, uh, and it's mostly working, but it's not particularly visually interesting. Um, what I'd like to do is get this beyond what we have going on here and actually add some, um, <coughs> add uh, better graphics, <laughs> uh, at least for the player to start with. Okay, so uh, for that, we're just gonna, um, basically we're gonna add the animation component. All right, so. First thing I need to do is I need to bring in, uh, so I don't have one yet, so we're gonna make a new folder, create folder, and we're gonna make a sprites folder. And then let's make another folder that we're gonna use in a little bit here. And make another folder and call it animations, okay? Uh, but open up the sprites folder for now. So I'm gonna open up the sprites folder and then you should have a sprite sheet. Mine looks like this. Basically, it's uh, mine's a PNG. These are all see-through, so the background is transparent. And you can see, oh, don't mind that. Uh, that's what I'm bringing in. So I'm just going to drag that into my sprites sheet, into the sprites folder. And it's going to take longer than it should. And that just has all of my animations in it. All right. So with that selected, I'm going to go to the inspector. And I want to choose from um, sprite mode single to multiple. And then I want to make it roughly the size that they are. And I think it was 1024 was what mine was. Uh, basically, uh, you want to make it so that the character is, in my case, I want to make it like one unit, right? So each one of these says how many pixels are in a unit. And I think my character is about 1024 um, per thing here, I believe. I got to double check. But I can change that number afterwards. Um, and then mine is not uh, pixel art, but if yours was, make it point no filter. And if it was, you'd probably be like 32 or 16 or something like that up here. And then I'm gonna uh, hit apply, and then I'm gonna go to sprite editor. Give it a second, there we go, sprite editor. And you can see we have it here. Now, um, again, if I had this in nice perfect columns, which I did not, I wish I had, but I didn't, uh, I could uh, just go to um, the slice here and do grid by cell size, but I don't, I didn't do that, so it was bad by me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do automatic and hit slice. Uh, it might take a second just because uh, I have so many um, pictures. So let's see. Oh, okay, I did do it, all right. Um, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and make this really big and zoom in and I can see all of my pictures. Now what I'm gonna do is just, Ah, I didn't want to do that. I meant spacebar. Oh, middle mouse button. Okay. I just want to see um, that all of them are good. So you see how like this one's really long for some weird reason. So I'm going to grab this blue and just pull that in. So it's a little bit, for whatever reason, they've got these longer. Okay. This one's really tall for some weird reason. So you can just adjust these boxes if you want. Maybe a little bit farther. Uh, okay, these all seem, uh, let's see, can I do this? There we go, that makes it a little bit easier, uh, putting on the alpha instead of the RGB, all right, so this way I can kind of see, uh, make sure they're all, like, not super weird, uh, that looks like that is acceptable, okay. So, uh, I'm screwing it back off. Oh, wait a minute. All right, here's one. So, I'm going to take this and pull this guy up like that. And I'm going to pull this over this way and down just so it's roughly the same as the others. Okay. All right. And uh, then I'll hit apply. All right. So, now this is cut up into all these different pictures, which will be good as soon as this application is done. <clears throat> good I'm just gonna close out of it and now if you were to look at it you'll see all of our pictures are cut up okay good yay so now what I'm gonna do is go to the graphic which is underneath my player because this is actually has uh, the graphics of our thing I'm just gonna go ahead and already set this up to um, I think the idle animation is this first one so I'm just gonna go ahead and set it to this so I'm just gonna double click on that hit the little target symbol double click on that so now that's my default guy and I can see he's a little too big so I'm gonna go over here and I need to make this number even higher. So instead of 1024, let's try, uh, how big do I want them? I, don't, I think 2048 would be too big. Let's do 1600, 16, come on, 16, 1600. And boink, and then hit apply, and you'll see that he's gonna get smaller. Now we could shrink him, uh, but honestly, that's not a good way of going about it. So uh, it's better to do this by pixels per unit. 
So I think that will go 1600 for me. Okay, but you can change this number, uh, and that way all these pictures will also be changed, uh, as opposed to just this uh, the uh, this graphic thing here. Okay, it'd be better if we can keep these all at their normal scales and what have you. Okay. Um, oh, you know why? Because my scale is 6.5. Let's change this to one, and to one. You can see he's much smaller now. Okay, that explains a bit. Let's go back here. And oops, let's try 512 and apply. And that should make him bigger. Uh, and that's still, let's try, I think 256 is going to be too big, but we'll see what that does because obviously we double the size. Let's see what that does. Um, 320 and we'll call that good whatever it is that's what it is okay come on all right so we're gonna call that the size of my my player okay good all right so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the player graphic and I want to add animation to it so we could add an animator component but if I just start creating animations it'll actually create the animator component for us so we'll just go ahead and do that so I'm gonna go to animations or animation tab if you don't have it just go window animation uh, animation and it will pop up down here mm -hmm. and hit create um, and first thing we're gonna do uh, just because it's gonna be our default is I'm just gonna go ahead and do player I just capitalize it player idle okay and this will be our player idle now the animation works in a bunch of different ways uh, or we can do a bunch of different things. In this case, uh, I'm, my animation I'm going to do is going to be um, uh, the, just the, uh, I'm going to do it based on the sprites. So it's just going to replace these sprites. Um, another thing, this might not show up here. This didn't show up for me initially. Uh, go up here and just make sure you turn on show sample rate on the little gear. Um, because I'm not going to run at 60 frames per second. I animated this at 24 frames per second. But yeah, I want to do half as much as that. So I'm just going to go ahead and do 12 um, frames per second. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a property, and the property I'm gonna add is a sprite render, and all the way on the bottom with a little plus. And so now, and if I expand this, you can see there's the picture, right? So there's the first frame. What I wanna do now is hit record, so now it's gonna record what I'm doing. I'm gonna go to here, just you can move by clicking and dragging up here. I'm gonna go to here, I'm gonna double click on this dark gray area, and then that will create a new key, and it create a key with the same frame on there. What I'm going to do is click on this, and I'm actually doing 12 because I don't want to do every single one of these. Uh, because this is running at 24 frames per second, if I run at 12 frames per second, it means I can grab every other frame. So I'm going to go from this one to this one. I'm just going to skip this middle one. Double click, double click here, put my frame there. Make sure you move the frame too because otherwise it doesn't, because what it's going to do is it's going to show you, see how this says zero? It's going to show you the one that you're on. So even if I put a keyframe here, if I change this, it's going to change on the frame that I'm currently on. So you got to make sure you do both, both create the frame and move the time slider. So I'm going to skip one, boom, All right. and skip one, double click, move that over, and skip one, yeah. double click, and skip one. This is another reason why you want to make sure your stuff's all in order because it's going to make a heck of a lot easier to work with. Okay, I am on the second page here. Boom. Click on. Okay. And double click. Okay. And boink. And double click. Double click there. Click. So I'm just clicking and grabbing every other one. All right. Now, you can see it only goes so far. If you use your uh, scroll wheel and scroll out, you can see more. It automatically puts um, the same frame on zero as also on one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that one. So I'll double click here, go to there, and I'm gonna go ahead and select the next one, which would be this one. Double click, go here, click on that, and it would be this one. Double click, click here, boom, and double click, double click, click there. Boom. Now the idle is going to have the most because it's a slower movement of him just kind of, of, you know, going up and down like a typical idle. Um, yours might be, you know, uh, might also be kind of long. OK, 
Okay, double click, double click, and double click, double click. Let me see. Oh, come on. And double click. Okay. Oh, wait, you know what? That one I just chose, that's actually a walk one, so I'm going to delete that. Okay, so it's going to go to 105. And now if I were to hit play, uh, you can't really see it. Let me um, stop the play here. Let me uh, take scene. I'm just going to snap it in there so we can see it. And let's zoom in a little bit here. And if we hit play, you can see the animation of him idling. Oops. Well, it'll work anyway. But you can see it going up and down. Yay. It's pretty amazing. Okay. Same thing as hitting play here. Um, now, when I'm done recording, I just click the record, and now that is one of oops, that's one of my animation clips. Okay, so that's the idle, and I just need to do that for all of the ones that I want to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the walk, um, idle, and uh, jump slash fall. So to make a new clip, I'm going to click over here and and click on create new clip, and uh, I didn't save this in the right spot, so I'm going to cancel. Um, let's go to project and I meant to put this not in sprite so I'm gonna grab this one and this one control X or command X and I'm gonna put it in animations control V sweet that didn't work All right, let's go here and how am I gonna oh I know what I'll do so I'm gonna go to sprites I'm gonna grab this guy and this guy and I'll click and drag it over to animations and it shouldn't should still work okay so back on animation uh, this create new clip and this time make sure you choose animations because I'm an idiot uh, and then we're gonna do player walk boom okay uh, same things for add property the property we're gonna add is going to be sprite beautiful and I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this last one and click on this one and oh, make sure we hit record okay hit this and then we're going to look for the first walk frame, and it is this guy. So I'm going to double click on that one. And then, oh, change my frame rate to 20, oops, sorry, to 12. Okay. And then we'll double click here. Make sure I move my time slider. Click on this. Go to over. Double click. Now you might, you probably are going to do every one because you probably want to have smoother animation. I'm just doing it so I don't have to do this for 30 years. Okay. Okay, and come on, boop. Okay. And then you can see now it goes to a run and there's one here so we'll just call that good so i'm actually going to delete that one okay which is right because that would equal because this frame should be the same as the first one so i've hit play oops if i hit play you can see him walking right let me see and then so he goes boom that's like a weird jump there that's not right. Let me get rid of this one. And I'm going to grab some. I deleted that one. Hold shift, click, and drag. So I grab all of these. I'm going to shift them over one. Let's hit play. There we go. That's better. Okay. Somehow something got messed up. But anyway, we're, we're good now. So I'm missing a frame, but we'll just go with it. Okay. So there's the walk. That looks good. I'm going to stop the recording. Create another clip. Make sure I'm still in animations, and I am just going to call this um, player jump. Not with a capital L, though. Player jump. Okay. Save. Boom. Add property. You know. Third verse, same as the first 12. Okay. I'm going to delete this. Uh, let's hit the record button. And this is just going to be one frame. I didn't make like a whole animation for this. So I'm just going to look for the one uh, frame of him jumping, which is this one right here. And that's it. I'm only going to have one frame. Uh, let's just make it 12 just so it's consistent actually doesn't really matter uh, boom okay good so uh, we've now got uh, our animation clips um, hooked up in there now if I hit uh, play you're gonna see it's just gonna play that idle animation because we actually have to hook it up through 
um, code and what have you okay so this is going to be a whole big process but um, we're going to make it so that we can walk and we're also going to make it so that we can jump okay uh, but we would do more than what I'm doing I'm just going to do kind of a real basic uh, what you're seeing now I'm going to stop this video though and start uh, make another video where we actually do the coding and hook it up to uh, make it actually work okay